This is something that you can grow in your own house and use it to feed your family. While that may not be appealing to a lot of uh, Americans, it's something that we can look at for other countries that we're trying to, to fight hunger in. A meat source for almost no money, no land, no water. It's almost no feed input uh, that has almost no greenhouse gas emissions, almost no wastewater. We've made a lot of headway with the local government, uh, the health and human services, to treat them just like any food source. Uh, if you're going to be selling the food, you need to have it prepared in a commercial kitchen, which is why we're not going to be selling the treats we make today. We're going to be giving them out as samples. We're going to bake them, we're going to grind them into a powder, and then we're going to use that to bake with. So if we grind the mealworms up into a flour, you can't see them. When you bake them, you can't really even taste them. So now it looks like we've just got your regular everyday chocolate chip cookie mix. Big difference though is that now these cookies are going to have protein, iron, calcium, omega 3s, uh, and no additional fat. Is there nutritional value in insects? Yeah, absolutely. They're, uh, most of them are higher in protein than chicken, fish, beef, pork. Uh, they're higher in calcium and iron. I don't think I'm going to win everybody over just talking about the health benefits. I think there's certainly some people who will try anything if they know it's going to be healthy for them. Ooh, but that's they're low in fat. <laughs> that's good. I don't mind eating them, it doesn't bother me. I think one of the biggest difficulties for people is the gross factor and, and the, the psychological barrier to eating insects. Once people get past the idea it's a bug and it tastes and they realize it tastes good, you know, hey, why not? So it's a sweet potato soap base. There's a little bit of our house-made guacamole, mixed green salad with our chipotle vinaigrette that we make here, and then there's grilled mealworm. It's coconut crust with calamari. The crust is coconut and mealworm. So this is a Parisian style macaron. The base is almond and mealworm flour. And then it's just baked. It's like a meringue cookie. It's like, this makes it all worth it. I don't know about all right. this. Alright, this is a lot of crickets in there. Just like a taco. It's really mild and crunchy and nutty. It's real good. I don't know what they put on that, but that's really good flavor. <laughs> Why is it so good? <laughs> My name is Robert Nathan Allen, and I want you to eat bugs. Uh, I founded Little Herds, a nonprofit organization in Austin, Texas. Uh, entomophagy has been around for thousands and thousands of years. In fact, cultures all around the world uh, eat insects today and have been eating them for thousands of years. It's only the Western nations that have lost out on this fantastic food source. We're dedicated to educating the next generation about this environmentally sustainable and nutritional food source. By the year 2050, we're expecting to have 9 billion people on this planet, and we're struggling to feed the people we have today. Meat consumption is expected to double by 2020. And while we can clear out a few more rainforests to make some more pasture land, we're really running out of room and something has to change. Traditional livestock and meat sources uh, provide a lot of woes for the environment. Wastewater, high amounts of feed consumption, high amounts of water consumption. And insects provide an alternative for all of these. Uh, we can grow them without a lot of water, without a lot of land. So what Little Herds likes to do is uh, we take our insects, crickets and mealworms, and we toast them and grind them into a flour. That way we can bake them into, you know, normal food sources. Cookies, cakes, breads, pastas, tortillas, anything that uh, people can try without seeing the bug or tasting the bug or feeling the bug. Insects are a complete protein. They have all nine essential amino acids that your body can't produce on its own and needs to get from the food that you eat. Once you tell people all these things, they start to reconsider. They start thinking, okay, you know, maybe this is something that I, that I should try in the adventure. All over, chefs are trying out different recipes with different insects and discovering a whole variety of flavor profiles. Every insect is going to taste uh, different than another insect. And we have over 2,000 species that we know are edible already. 
That's a lot of different flavors to play with. So the, the possibilities are endless. Local, live local, project.